A 16-year-old boy shot and killed, and police say he was ambushed while riding his bike through Dorchester. Good afternoon. Thank you for being here with us. I'm Katherine Hauser. And I'm Chris McKinnon. Two other teenagers are suspected in this murder, and police are looking for help to track them down. Now, the victim in this case has been identified as 16-year-old Jonathan Dos Santos. Our Nicole Jacobs is live in Dorchester with the latest on the investigation. Nicole? Chris, witnesses say at the time of the shooting, this area was flooded with people, but the minute police arrived, everyone scattered. Commissioner William Evans believes someone out there knows something, and he's hoping they will come forward, not only for this family, but for the entire community. And her voice, but too afraid to share her face, so we oblige. And I heard four shots, I looked off the porch, I seen a young boy falling over, and I heard a scream. It was just before 8 p.m. in the area of Fuller Street in Dorchester, the victim, 16 years old, riding his bicycle. Obviously, well, I'll, I'll age when a 16-year-old loses his life. One day later, a stuffed animal and police tape marked the area where, in broad daylight Wednesday, bullets flew. But you can see that Ty Young, he was in his face of the baby. I felt bad. I can't even sleep. It's like I'm scared. It's like this is the city's 11th homicide this year. Equally as frustrating for residents is the silence from witnesses. You do want to help somebody else's kid, but you got to worry about your life as well. It's terrible. It's a target for a target out here. New to the neighborhood, but she did catch an image that aligns with who police would like to find. I just seen like two young boys like they was ducking, but you couldn't see their face in there. It's our number one priority to make the city uh, streets as safe as possible. Residents agree the area is riddled with violence, but there are still families and children here who long for peace of mind. We, we don't tolerate this and hopefully we can get the person responsible. And you're taking a look here at a photo of Jonathan DeSantos, identified by his family, just 16 years old. I should also add, police are wanting to find those two individuals who were seen running away from this area. We're told they were wearing dark clothing and sweatshirts. Again, anyone with information is urged to contact police. We're live in Dorchester. Nicole Jacobs, WBZ News.